Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be daily general tarot reading for July 5th, 2018. Before we go there guys, I want to tell you that now you can purchase a uh, in-depth monthly tarot reading for July at my website under the section of extended monthly tarot readings and that could be purchased for just as little as one dollar and in that reading you are going to find specifically what the month has to offer for your star sign career wise and relationship wise that said aside let's see what we are going to have to face due July 5th the first card that will be um, the topic of the day and we have the eight of wands the second card shows up uh, the negative approach or rather like you know the, the approach that is not going to benefit us regarding the topic the third card does expresses up the approach that is going to benefit us regarding the profit the, 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 the topic and the last one points that in case we do keep these couple of conditions right and in check, that is the long-term benefits we are going to obtain based on the topic. So what happens here is, is that we do have the Eight of Wands. The Eight of Wands could be interpreted in many ways, but in generally this card represents a, a very dynamic day as a topic of the day. Uh, a dynamic which is going to allow us to present ourselves creatively or to resolve issues into our relationship when we talk about relationship and creativity when we talk about career here but the thing with the eight of wands guys is that the, 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 the opportunities or to present ourselves create, creative or to resolve issues into our relationships there are going to be many of them during the day all right so multiple uh, occasions that you can raise a topic or multiple occasions to show capability However, these uh, opportunities will be rather very unstable, all right? Uh, in the sense of that, uh, kind of like they won't be supported with any, with any solid proof, with any solid foundation. And that's why we do have, as a matter of fact, the full card into a negative position, pointing that you should not get uh, ahead of yourself, all right? You should not make those kind of big steps, steps and look foolish afterwards. Uh, the full card is about, in, in that particular case, is about irre in re irresponsibility. It is about placing great hopes into something that actually is not that great to begin with, but that is a um, prerequisite of the excitement you had when you had that opportunity, all right? Uh, the full card also here plays a role of uh, false hopes, or kind of, not exactly false hopes, but more like uh, incapability to uh, scale to scale up the uh, the means necessary in order to achieve, you know, uh, the end of that particular uh, creativity. So, uh, what these couple of cards are telling us is that today we can express our creativity, but that should not be a, um, a foundation or prerequisite, you know, to kind of uh, rush things through. Just on the contrary, as we do have this strength card, that card here points for a patience and also points for a determination of unfolding or kind of like a, and a vigor to take the hard way uh, around it. Because uh, when you take the hard way around it, um, or not to take the easy way around it, but rather to take the uh, the convention the conventional way um, through, uh, then you will be able to more carefully and more patiently to analyze the setbacks possible, to analyze the issue that may arise, you know, and in general to resolve issues. Because the strength card it is about that when we talk into that conjunction. It is a, talking about the patience, you know, to make your research and to make your preparations, if you want to say it that way, uh, instead of just um, letting the monster out and trying to storm the situation and then shooting arrow by arrow from your quiver at the end left with nothing actually you may lose everything so you have to be very careful during that day not to push the thing through uh, with all means necessary not to be aggressive not to be tenacious here but uh, you have to seize the moment yes that's no question about it but in the same time you have to be rather milder with your approach you have to sh look at least responsible all right because that is all about it. The fool does not care about responsibility. The fool is all about the um, 
a kind of like the spontaneous idea that comes into their head and that's quite irresponsible when you look at it that way all right so if we're talking about relationship interactions here your partner needs to see the readiness for you to take on a responsibility all right because empty talks ain't gonna cut it and that will happen uh, by you uh, not explaining way too much about your errors in the past because explain explanations are prerequisite to um, what was the word I was searching here excuse me guys um, excuses explanations when someone over explain themselves they are actually trying to find an excuse so you don't have to explain when, when you're guilty for something you say okay um, right I am guilty about it let's see what we can do about it as well right because it's it's not gonna get away I mean it, it, it's in the past what we can do to solve that and that should be the attitude instead of just you know saying oh okay whatever it's not gonna happen again well it can so you need to actually be much more responsible than um, or kind of at least show that you're ready to take a responsibility for whatever you're after or for whatever you had in the past and the long-term benefits of that here is the is the knight of uh, pentacles and in general this is how you stand in front of those people that you showed your creativity or you try to resolve past issues with them you stand as a someone who is very uh, I cannot say patient but very calm someone who um, knows what they want someone uh, who are always when they are about to act and do something those actions are supported with uh, uh, a, a compassion all right so the, your actions aren't e empty your act your actions aren't surreptitious as well your actions aren't uh, biased on particular uh, I don't know on a particular benefits that you want to extract from that uh, particular situation so in general they are seeing you as a very sincere trustworthy and resourceful person and that was happened uh, based on kind of like that was that happened thankfully to the um, readiness here in that particular day July 5th to take a responsibility for whatever is going on in your life and for whatever had been going on in your life until now it is just it's very important guys to be um, as I said to be to be just uh, to be able to catch up with the dynamic because we start with dynamic to the catch up with the dynamic of that particular day and uh, seize the opportunity but do not push it nor rush it so with that being said this was uh, the daily tarot reading for July 5th 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video Rat signing out now see you next time Bye.